हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद माय फर्स्ट टैब्लू सिनेरियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो आई विल बी सॉल्विंग मोर क्वेश्चंस बट स्पेशल थिंग अबाउट माय टैब्लू वीडियोस विल बी आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दोस क्वेश्चंस इन एसक्यूएल एज़ वेल सो दैट इफ यू आर नॉट गुड इन एसक्यूएल यू विल लर्न एसक्यूएल एंड इफ यू आर गुड इन एसक्यूएल बट नॉट इन टैब्लू यू विल लर्न टैब्लू एज़ वेल एज़ वेल एज़ वन मोर थिंग व्हेन यू creates views in tableau in back end it creates a query only based on what you are dragging it will create a sql and return the results so if you understand how the sql is built what sql is built you will be easily to easily understand tableau how it works right so i will start with this question today that we have to find year wise new and repeat customers so this is a typical order uh, super store data set i have used before also and i have imported the same in sql server also i have same number of rows 9994 9994 so we'll solve in tableau and then we'll move on to sql and exactly step by step i will show you how i did in tableau and similar calculation i will do in sql and will match the results okay so let's start so this is the order data i have order date customer id and i have four years of data in like 2018 19 i have to find each year how many new and existing customers are coming so for example in 2018 all the customers are new customers because this is the first year so total customer new customers 595 now in 2019 total customers are 573 but 437 are repeat customers which means they have come in 2018 and they came in 2019 again i mean they can have multiple orders in 2019 but they would have come at least one in 2018 so they are repeat customers and they are coming for the first time 2019 so they are new customers similarly for 20 and 21 okay so how we will approach this question so what we have to find out we have to find out first that for each customer id which is the first time he came right first time he or she came or first which years he or she came so i will go to the new sheet and i will create a new calculated field i will say first customer year right so when was the first time customer came so now here i will use lod because my the view granularity is different it is on order date but i want to calculate on customer so i can create a separate video on lod if it is not clear let me know in comment section but i will use uh lod here fix the lod okay customer id i will use i'll show you how to do it in sql also fix customer id and minimum of order date i want right so for each customer id i will get what is the minimum order date also i just need year so i will just put year i don't need order date i just want to check which is the minimum year customer came right and that's it that's it so first customer year so what happens these are the dimension and these are measures so what i will do this is not a dimension year is not a dimension i'll just convert it as dimension okay so now it is fine so let's see the data once so i have customer id and i have first customer year as well so this is a for each customer i got that this customer came in 2018 first or some customers these come came in 2019 first okay so i got this now what i have to check for each order i have to check if it is by new customer or existing customer so what i will do i'll create another calculated field i'll say new or existing and i'll say if year of order date right year of order date is equal to whatever we just saw first customer year right first customer year if it is equal then i will say then it is a new the order is by new customer right else repeat customer and right so what i am saying if the for each order i am saying or each order i am saying if the year year is equal to first customer year so whenever this whoever customer place this order if it is equal to first customer year then it is a new customer right if not it is a repeat customer i hope this is clear i will just do okay so i have created this dimension new and existing customer now what i am going to do i'll just remove everything 
what I need in output. If you see, I need years, year of order date. So I will take order date in output. Okay. And what I need, I need count of distinct customer. How many customers are there each year? So I'll take customer ID here and I will convert it to as a uh, measure. So I will say measure count of distinct customer ID. So this will give me count of distinct customer ID. I'll just change it to bar chart and rotate it. Okay, so this is the total customers, distinct customers we got every year. So if you see 595, 573, same, right? Here we have 570, 595, 573. Now just what we have to do, we have to separate between new and existing customers. So I created this dimension new and existing. I'll just move it to color, right? And that's it. So this is my new customer blue and this is my repeat customer. So if you see 595, Okay, here 437 and 136. This is 437 and 136, right? Here again 587, 51. If you see 587 and 51. So this is how you can do it. What we did, we just calculated if it is an uh, order by new customer, existing customers and just putting on the color and we got these things separate out. Okay. Now we will move on to SQL and see how we can solve it. We will do in the similar fashion we have done in Tableau. So now I have the orders, right? What I did in Tableau, first I calculated minimum order year for each customer. So I will say customer ID and I will take year of order date, right? And I'll take minimum of this as first, first order, right? So I'll just create this as CT with first order as this. So I'll just show, uh, I'll just run inner query and show what we are doing group by I have to do on customer ID. So this is what we did in LOD. We set fixed customer ID, give me minimum of order date. And this is how I can do it. Similar thing in SQL. So for each customer ID, I will get the minimum order date or order year. Okay, let's move on now. Now we have this table select star from orders, right? I will say O and do a left join on the above table, first order table. So this join I don't have to do in Tableau because in Tableau, in the same table that uh, that uh, calculation is created. But here I have to create it separately and join back. So if you see here, everything is created. All these columns are there and within this table, those calculations are coming, but here in SQL, I have to join it back. So first order on O dot customer ID equal to FO dot customer ID. Right. So I got the first order for each customer, right? I have the first customer order year. This is the first order year I can say. Right. What I will do here, I'll say case when, okay, case when year O dot order date from O, all the order dates are coming. This is what we did in with if condition in Tableau. So I'll say O dot order date equal to first order year, right? First order year is coming from this table. Then this is a new customer, right? That's what we did. Else existing customer and as new existing. Similarly, we created in Tableau exactly same. I will just show you again. So this is our 
So that's what we did. If year order date is equal to first customer year, then new, otherwise repeat customer, right? Same thing I am doing here. If year of order date is equal to first order year, then new, otherwise existing or repeat anything you can say. Repeat customer. Okay. Now this is done. I will take uh, what I need. I will take customer ID also here and order date. Right, for order date, I just need year. Let me run this. I'll just quickly run this. MBS column. Okay. Okay. So this is running, and we got that this is a new customer or repeat customer. This order is by new customer, or repeat customer. This is an order date, right? So what I will do now, I just need order date and output and count of distinct customers. So I'll just keep this order date and new and existing and count of, this is what we did in Tableau again when we converted to customer ID to a measure as number of customer, right? And in group by, I need these both the things. Year order date I need because I want year wise. Also, also I need this also new or existing. So I can just take as it is and put it in group by. Otherwise, I can create a sub query as well, right? So now I'm going to run this. Uh, what is the issue count of oh okay this is oh sorry okay so we have the result out so you see 2018 new customers are 595 now we go back to tableau new customers are 595 right i'll, I'll show you in this one 595 right and this is in SQL also we are getting same. In 2019, new customers are 136 and repeat 437. So if you see 437 repeat and new customers 136. I hope this is clear, makes sense. Let me know if this way of uh, uh, explaining Tableau is good. I am doing in both SQL and Tableau. And if you have any other idea, let me know. And please, please, please like the videos and share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.